Jack Bricks here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Spider-Man 2019 set, Spider-Mech vs. Venom, which includes 604 pieces, 4 minifigures, and retails for $50 in the United States. Now let's take a look at those minifigures. So here's Ghost Spider, Gwen Stacy, uh, Spider Gwen, whatever you want to call her, but the design of this is pretty good. I wish there was some detailed leg -like printing, but this is based off of LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. So the design of this is supposed to be accurate to that, and it looks pretty good. I do like the face print on there, just like, and she does come with one of those web pieces, and she does have some back torso printing right there. And the hood in white is not the easiest thing to get, so I'm really happy getting that. The torso print is very good too, and it's pretty accurate to the Spider-Verse movie, so a lot of people will buy the set just for that. So here's the design for Venom, and this is new and exclusive, we haven't even gotten a new Venom since, what, 2013, I want to say? Thank God I actually have that old one, because that one goes for a lot of money these days, but the design for that face print is a new design, and there is a new torso print, along with a new back torso print. And it kind of sucks that he doesn't have the neck attachment like the 2013 one did, but that's alright. I still really highly appreciate this minifigure. There's also Aunt May that comes in this set. This version is exclusive, however, none of the parts are. We did get one back in 2016 with the Bridge Battle set, and she uses the same face print as the one from those sets, along with the same hairpiece, and this face can also come in the Hogwarts Express with the trolley lady I want to say is what her name was and you can see her face also sticks out under the hair piece which kind of sucks uses the Ghostbusters 2016 hair piece from, from my understanding and the tor torso print was from the 2017 advent calendar which is kind of sad because that was like one of the only exclusive things about that advent calendar and now it's kind of ruined with this figure but that's all right and so here is Spider-Man, and this is not exclusive. This one also comes in the $20 set, along with the $40 set. This is the most expensive way to get this one with the dual mold legs. The ones without dual, leg, dual molded legs also come in, only come in the junior sets. And the torso and the back torso print are just really good. And my face print looks a little bit misprinted there, but that's all right. Just the whole design for that head is really, really nice. Really cool figure overall it's venom gotta go and get him get him okay that that song's gonna be stuck in my head all day but yeah this is the design for the venom build and this is just a really phenomenal looking dude now let's just take a closer look at how much detail has been put into this so the whole design for this could be used as a giant venom mech or a giant venom minifigure as you can see right here there is a place to put the exclusive venom minifigure right on these studs right there and you can see there is some control panels right there and also there is an exclusive print on the top right here which is not that it's actually really nice and that I can see people using that as well and I thought the most awkward part was the mouth but when you have it all built it actually looks much better well, like how the tongue was sticking out in the box is like eh. I think she just take that out, but design of that, I mean, it looks really bad without the tongue, so I think it looks pretty good, honestly. I think it worked out. They also do have a bunch of stickers right here, and yes, I am missing a piece right there. It did fall off. Um, it's literally just another one of these, and they just attach to the studs on the bottom right there and it looks pretty good honestly and design for the arms do have some articulation to them as you can see you can just move them around and the design for those are pretty good as well as you can see there is some ball joints on the sides right there and you can get some good articulation even on the hands right there you can see you can you can stretch out all the way to the fingers and can do the same thing as well and oh wow and you can also make him fall as well and yeah he even has some good uh legs as well that i know that sounds kind of weird but it's true but and those designs are pretty good as well 
you can just see how good it worked out as well. And those whole legs can be moved around as well. And you can move the feet on these ball joints as well. And they do, he does also have some toes as well. And I think those are some nice nails as well. But yeah, I think that's it for the Venom build, except let's try to get some poses out of this guy. Can this meme just die, please? Okay, you've gotta be serious. You've gotta be kidding me. It's like uh, some sort of running pose, I guess. It's like a, uh, I wanna say, like, I won kind of pose. There's just him dabbing. But there's also another build of the set, if you forgot. There's also the spider mech, and the design of that is pretty puny compared to the Venom mech, as you can see. It's actually a lot smaller, but the design of this I thought was actually pretty bad when I first saw it, and now now when I have it in my hands, I'm just like, and I just thought like I thought this thing was actually pretty weak, but this whole design is actually pretty good. I actually kind of like it. I think the design for how good the articulation is pretty good. He does have some bulk on there as well, and there is a sticker right there and a sticker right there. And his legs are, I like the back of the here is actually pretty bad. Like as you can see at the back of Venom, they actually did a good job on the back right there. As you can see, that whole design right there looks pretty good. If you look at this, it's just like, oh, that's pretty bad. But there is a little shooter right here. There is like a little stud shooter and you could just put right there and you can shoot out but yeah let's try to knock over a minifigure with that all right here we go oh 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 okay guys this this is epic but anyways there are some stickers right here so also stick right here and you can open that up right there to reveal spider-man in the cockpit which there is some again there's some more control panels on the inside there and I'll be honest, like the bulk here looks like some sort of like football player. And there is a sticker right there and a sticker right there. And you can put mini figures that you capture in here. And I don't know about you, but isn't Spider Man supposed to be a good guy? But like, look how tortury that kind of looks. But yeah. Um, like, really with Venom, you can put like mini figures in his hands, like he's capturing them. But it's like not to an extent to where it's just like it's not like violent. But with Spider-Man, it's like it's like he wants to kill them or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's it for the builds of the mechs. There is also another little small guy. And we can't forget about Gwen Stacy's little flying board thing. And the design of this is actually pretty good, of course. Gwen Stacy can just fit on the studs right there on the surfboard piece. There is a sticker right there, sticker right there, and a sticker right there. And there is some flames coming out the back of that right there. And there is a stud shooter at the front. There's actually two of them. You all know how those work. Push on that. And it just goes flying. But yeah, that's it for the builds of the set. Let's take a look at the packaging and then the final verdict. The box for this is that really fifty to sixty dollar box size. It has some really nice artwork on the side. As you can see, the side box art right there, and you can see how much detail is put into the set. So I'll be one hundred percent honest with you. I barely have any complaints with this set. At first, if you didn't see my original um, thoughts on the set video, uh. Please don't watch this video. Well, it's my most popular video, but it kind of sucks because I didn't know what the heck a microphone was six months ago. But the design for this set is phenomenal. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I thought the spider Mac was actually pretty bad. But now that I have it in person, I'm like, it's actually not terrible. <laughs> but, of course, the best part here is the big giant Venom Mac, which I think is absolutely just stunning. You could either make it a giant Venom mech or a giant Venom minifigure, and I think it works either way. Um, you can get a lot of possibility out of it. Even the back of it looks pretty good. The minifigures in here are really good as well. 
Of course, that Spider-Man isn't new, but it's very common, but it's that, I mean, it is a new figure, though, and it's a really nice figure to get. The new Venom is long overdue, so Gwen Stacy finally getting a minifigure is pretty awesome, besides, like, a leg printing, and a new Aunt May is always pretty good. We haven't gotten one of those since 2016, so I'll give them the nod to that. The, I'll be honest with you, the really big complaint I have with the set is just, like, the back of the Spider-Mac is pretty bad. Um, I think they definitely could have done did a better job with that and the whole design for that the rest of it though is pretty good I do like the capturing feature right there even though it kind of looks kind of awkward and really there's no other thing bad things to say about the set so after that I have to say great to say hey definitely go buy it it's on sale already for some reason like why but okay um but yeah, highly recommend the set. Go buy it while you still can. And yeah. That, but that's it for this video though. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.